Let's learn how to develop an OpenAI plugin in a GitHub code spaces and then deploy it to Azure using the Azure Developer CLI. Let's go to github.com slash Azure dash samples slash OpenAI dash plugin dash fast API. You'll find a link to this repo in the description. Let's go down here to run in code spaces. We're going to click this gray button here to open a new code space. We're going to click create code space. Let's take a quick look at what you get in that repo. You have main.py in the root. It has one method called get products. You pass it a query string and it searches through this in memory object of products, which is loaded from data products.json. To turn this API into an OpenAI plugin, you need to do a few things. I've encapsulated all the routes that OpenAI expects you to have inside of this well known router. So if you go to wellknown.py, you'll see that we have some routes. You have the openapi.yaml route, you have the logo.png route and you have the AI plugin.json route. There are a couple of helper methods at the top to detect the host header and protocol. This allows you to run this in a code space, dev container, locally, and in Azure. Take a look on the left over here. We have dot well known, and then we have AI plugin.json. So this is the file that OpenAI reads when you register a new plugin. You'll notice that there's a placeholder here for host, which needs to be the fully qualified domain name for your application. So inside a well-known Pi, we get the host header from these headers. Just do that substitute here, host equals get host. So you can drop this well-known.py file into any of your Python fast API applications, include your AI-plugin.json file, update it for your application, and it should just work. That was a quick walkthrough. Now let's just run it. I'm actually just going to hit F5. Codespaces will automatically forward this port 8000 to the internet for you, but you have to make it public. So you have to come here to the ports tab, right click on your fast API server, and then change port visibility to public. So once you do that, you can hit that link and then fast APIs have their documentation at slash docs. And there you go. Your application is fully running in code spaces. Now all you need to do is take this URL here and use that as a plugin inside of ChatGPT. I'm gonna add that plugin to ChatGPT using the plugin store. I'm down on the right here, I'm gonna click develop your own plugin. I'm gonna paste the URL to the code space. Click next, install for me and continue. Install plugin. Now you can see that plugin is enabled and I'm gonna say find hiking boots. It recognized that I'm searching for products. It used my plugin to find those products and return them. Then back here in the terminal, you can see all the requests that ChatGPT made to interact with that plugin products, hiking boots. Now that we have this working in a code space, we're going to want to deploy this to Azure. The fastest way to do that is with the Azure developer CLI, which is a new CLI that uses simple commands to help you get your code to Azure. The heart of Azure developer CLI is this Azure YAML file. In this case, we have a single service called API. It's located in the root. We want to host it on a container app and the language is Python. Inside of the infra folder, you have all the bicep you need to provision all the resources to Azure and then the Azure Developer CLI will deploy your code to those resources. So all I need to do to get this application fully deployed to Azure with the Azure Developer CLI is to first log in. All right, I'm now logged in. All I need to do is call azd up. I'm going to give it an environment name. Let's call this John G I O slash open AI dash plugin dash one. There's going to be any name that you want. I'm going to select my subscription and then select a region. I'm going to go with East US. The Azure Developer CLI is building the Docker image that is found in the root. AZD is smart enough to know that you're deploying to a container app. So it by default looks for a Docker file in the same location as your app code, builds that Docker file, and then publishes it to your container app. As your Azure resources are being provisioned, the Azure Developer CLI will give you a status on all the things that are being provisioned. Okay, all the Azure resources have been created. Now it's on to deploying the container to the Azure container app. Now the application code has been deployed to Azure. When it's done deploying, you will get this URL right here that you can hit. And once again, go to the docs endpoint, just make sure it's all working. Then you do exactly what you did when you connected to the code space through ChatGPT. You copy the URL, go to ChatGPT, go to the store, click develop your own plugin, paste the now container apps URI, click next, install for me, continue, install plugin. It's now installed and selected. I'm going to say search for hiking boots. And you can see the request went through hiking boots and we got back hiking boots from the application 
running on Azure.